Greetings and welcome. I am Mingle and we are playing cards, the World War II digital card game. I want to share one of my decks that I was inspired to craft. I watched the World War II in Color documentary on Netflix and especially the first episode with the Blitzkrieg, the uh, Germans invading France, they showcased the Messerschmitts and the Stukas, the Havoc Direct. So this deck is inspired by that. deck not often played so I'd ask you to join me in this episode I'll quickly show you my intent and uh, deck list uh, however if you want to get field marshal with Germany and you have a very good collection top right hand corner is a card a link Germany GM PvP deck I secured field marshal with this deck alternatively down in the video description will be a link as well if you are watching this content on a mobile phone or a tablet and the cards do not come up. That being said, let's jump in and have a look at my Luftwaffe deck. So, careless talk, three copies. I'm gonna discuss this content as if you've played cards before and you know uh, the cards fairly well. I'm not gonna discuss the intent and everything in great detail. So, uh, basically what it comes down to is I wanna try and secure early game uh, board stat. I do not want the enemy to have any sort of units on the board. Killer Stalk is there for that reason. Lurking Danger is a bit of a dud. I'm going to leave it in here for now, but I um, would play this and I would end up drawing Killer Stalk, so this is not ideal at this stage. This deck is lacking card draw, so maybe you could remove this and add some more card draw. This fits in with the the, the, the subs, uh, subs, <laughs> submarines, the um, U boats I've got in this deck, so this is where it fits in nicely. So we've got uh, this unit for, for the fun of it, and potentially card draw. So this is also like a hybrid discard deck. So we've got the U375 to discard, especially early to mid. From the deep to destroy, at the L Bacor uh, MK1. So we want to pin the opponents. And then we've got the Henschel. If I go up against aggression, I can put this behind a guard, and I can take out the you know lower HP units uh, gets to attack twice with fury so this is uh, I, I like playing with this unit I don't see this being played often but I really like this card let me know um, in the vote let me know your thoughts if, if you are pro or con for this unit uh, right so some value on the British side we've got guards and it gives me the naval support if it's being played so for that reason I added it airstrike so yes I the enemy plays units, it gets discarded, well, not discarded, it returns back to, to his hand and he gets to discard a random card. The um, Messerschmitt, I played, I've played. i added this air unit because of uh, thematics. And then the Black Watch, more guards and another double whammy. The enemy's uh, orders are too more expensive. Stukas, I don't see this being played a lot and I found this card, if it's played, it's either destroyed, like pretty much the next turn when it's the opponent's turn or the turn after this does not stay on the table and if it if you do manage to have control of the stuka the opponents usually end up surrendering i haven't played a lot of games with the stuka hickey wrecking havoc wolfpack nice order card i mean what is there to say <laughs> the enemy uh, discards a random card and he doesn't get to draw a card quite a quite five cost i feel it's not too cheap admiral hipper I would actually like to add two of these uh, units in here, just to let the enemy units to retreat. Some more guards, staple for myself with the British, good good stats as well. The Comet, I've got uh, mixed emotions about this card, but I guess it's got its place and I love the thematics behind adding this uh, unit. And another uh, mechanic I'm trying. This is so out of my comfort zone. I usually play aggressive decks, so this is like so strange for me. It just doesn't feel right playing this. Carpet bombing. So if I go up against um, an opponent with an aggression aggressive deck, or, or if he's got like uh, lots of uh, tokens or, or or like three HP units, I can clear the board. Annihilation. Um, 
if there's a problem unit for me on the table, I get to get rid of that. And then we've got the Schwalbe, mixed feelings on this unit as well. It's, it, it's not a solid card for me, but uh, I love the thematics and uh, respect the history of this unit, being the first jet-powered uh, fighter aircraft ever in the world. So I do, for that reason, have this in my deck. And then we've got the Bismarck. I just love this order. It's solid. I, 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 for that reason, I've added that. And then the Leopold. I mean, if you've played this game for longer than a week, you know the Leopold. I'm not going to say anything else about it. So this is my deck. Um, and it, it's, a, it's a strange one. But I've had fun playing with this deck. So that being said, let's jump in and have a matchup. And then you guys can see how this deck works. Moni Vibishu, hope I pronounced that correct. Okay, let's talk, okay, let's, oh, no, okay, let's talk. So the Albacor, we will keep that. Okay, we've got Kelis talk, that's awesome. Good luck, have fun, my friend. So we're going up against the Russians. I really like this unit. People, if, if I make decks, people usually tell me not to add this. So let's play Killer Stalk again. Oh, that sucks. That did not pan out. So. Spin it, I guess. We can play a strike. It's probably around turn five would be good. Yes. He's gonna probably start playing tanks. Oh wow! That's uh, definitely putting pressure on me. Should have played this first. If you have equal or less units on the battlefield, draw a card. Oh well, let's draw a card then. Fail. <laughs> yep. Lessons learned. Mistakes were made. That's my only card in this deck that gets to draw a card, and I totally messed that up. Okay, from the people. Solid card. Um, so unit gets to retreat. One damage. Let's retreat that card. Three, five. play airstrike. I would feel more comfortable with airstrike being played. Nice. Wow. So do we want to play airstrike now? I think we do. And um, no point in playing the hen shell. It's not looking good. All right, let's see. So the airstrike's ready. Lightning! 
This game's sound is so awesome. Love it. What's it gonna play? What? <laughs> oh, I'm like hoping for Leopold <laughs> right about now. Is the Easter gonna be a waste? Yeah, Stuka is here, but it's I'm not in a good position to play it. Five. Oh, let's do that then, I guess. Hura! <laughs> Hura! Do I don't really want to bait this? Let's play that. So he doesn't get to draw a card, so I'm buying some time. Attacking for eight, which is good. Really? New pole, new pole. That's going to be kind of a waste. Oh, let's do that. Nice demonstration of the naval support on this deck. There's a few units, obviously the Black Watch that benefits from that. The Angel also nicely. I've actually bonded to merge this deck with a USA ally as well because they've got a lot of cards that buff the the the, the units on the table. So that would be interesting as well. Oh, Leopold, I really need you. <laughs> Come to me, my Leopold. Come to me. No top deck. So, uh, airstrike. And he does not have any. That's a waste, but nonetheless, let's do that. So, five, six, seven. He, I think he's looking for removal. So if he plays a unit now, it's going to get discarded. That was a waste, but I'm just being very cautious. Moni, what are you doing to me? <laughs> oh, it's not looking good. You see a bolt. If I ever needed to top deck, it would be awesome if you could let me top deck now. <laughs> I'm like totally praying to the RNG gods. gods. <laughs> And the naval support would have been nice, nice on him. Okay, so we we are committing. That was a nice play. That was a very good play. Schwalbe. Wonder if I should pull it out. I want him to add more units. Six, seven, eight, nine. Let's do that. Let's put units on the table. So we've got the Stuka and the Dornier. So nice bombers. So he's going to have to go HQ or focus my bombers. He can't focus that one. It's being guarded currently. So it's going to... Yeah, he can't take it. Except if he's... What? This is the game done. <laughs> Did I miss something? He's going to go for this two cover. That's interesting because I've got two air units, bombers on the deck that destroys cards. Okay, so he's gone for the Stuka. So, careless talk, kind of, uh, yeah. So that, what is that? Hmm, three, Ura. I'm not even going to attack those units at this stage. Let's just add another one. Cool. So, yes, <laughs> a strange matchup and a strange way to demonstrate this deck, but it's a fun deck. Um, it, yeah, 
doesn't always <laughs> it's not it, it's as i said I, it's it's this is a strange deck and please leave me comments let me know your thoughts on on this deck and if if you would change something what you would change i love that uh, jet engine noise sound he's not giving up quite yet so I guess in a nutshell, I uh, managed to clear the board state, managed to, at a, uh, to, to, to basically control the board state. And at this stage now, I'm basically got my bombers that can just wreak havoc. I would have liked to have a Stuka here and a Mrs. Schmidt. That would have been very thematic. But uh, yeah. Oh, I might as well just do that, right? That's just being nasty now. <laughs> and then if he plays a unit that costs three or less. Worked out very well. I was praying very hard to the RNG card girls. Didn't pull, didn't draw the Leo ball, but it showcased my deck nicely. Thanks, Moni. I thank you for viewing it until the very end. Uh, however, uh, stay tuned. I will be bringing out a new tutorial uh, series, a short series for newer players to the cards game. If you are a newer player, please stay tuned for that. If you're not, I would ask you to forward or share my content with friends that you know of that's new to the game. I'd really appreciate it. I need the support. I thank you once again for your support. Let me know your thoughts down in the comments. I'd love to read it. Until next time, you keep safe, and as I always like to say, lekker dag and bye-bye.